you many tools and instruments around this place, you are going to discover more. That's why we decided to present ourselves through our passions in our life by tools we used. And I will start not so uh, long ago, <laughs> like chopping knives, but one of the first things, one of my first passions in my life was photography. I was about 12 years old when I received as a present my first camera. It was Russian camera Smena 2. It was very old. I still having it somewhere in my wardrobe. And from time to time, I'm coming back in my memories to realize what was the things I did. Uh, lately, I developed myself in the photography, but several years ago, I decided not to use camera anymore. Because I felt that um, living the moment is much better than remembering it. One of the next things that happened in my life, probably around 14 years old, can you recognize this tool? Mm -hmm. Binocular, exactly. Bird watching. Bird watching, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I joined the zoology club and I was really passionate about nature and animals and doing researches. After that, we get into the bird watching and science, which leads me after that to my profession, which I'll share with you in a second. And because of this, A backpack, yes. Because of the zoology club and need to be more in the nature, we start doing tourism, hiking a lot in the mountains. And growing up, we develop our love to the nature. And this, somehow, this passion creates our life paths. So what happens later? Later in my life, from photography, I start to do something else. was filmmaking yeah, as a hobby in the beginning like amateur I start doing movies and start video editing according to my other passions and slowly but surely I develop my abilities and skills and last four or five years from time to time I even make money by video editing bird watching and biology and science lead me to my original profession for 15 years of my life, I was dedicated to these tools. I became a veterinarian and I specialized in surgery. And after eight years of studying, I practiced for seven years in private clinic, cutting different parts from pet and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> this was till 2007. Can you recognize this tool? <laughs> Climbing shoes. Climbing shoes, exactly. People are experienced, so they know. So our love to hiking and mountains was developed in my longest passion in my life. This is sport climbing. I'm still practicing it. I started 22 years ago in 1992, and I'm still do a rock climb because this is one of my biggest passion, and this tool is very important for me. What happened later? As I told you, in 2007, <coughs> my career in veterinary medicine finished. And by chance, using the filmmaking, I entered the field of interactive teaching and experiential learning. This leads me to this moment. I start developing myself as an educator. I start working in the corporate field, delivering training, skill development trainings for bank account persons, uh, customers, customers uh, service, and so on, so on, so on. Till 2009, when I entered the youth field, and I realized how useful are the educator skills in this field. And this was the moment when these things become my most important tools. Because nowadays my passion is what we are doing here and we share our passion with Carolina and Bogdan delivering trainings and developing youth workers and young people in the fields. So this is what I am now. There is two more tools and two more passions I want to present to you. Because of this, 
I found one function which is very interesting. Do you know what it is? Slackline. Exactly. Slackline. Rope walking. This is one of my recent day passions. I'm really happy that it helps me to calm down, to balance myself and to steam out all the pressure from the daily work. What's a slackline? Just walk. You'll have you'll have chance to discover this details. <laughs> like in the circus walking Why on the road. Why now? <laughs> and one more thing that I discovered two years ago, no, less than two years ago, and helped me very much. Yeah, this is the other two, the paper. I start doing origami and it's really yeah, it's somehow continuation of this track. So this is everything I want to share with you now. Later we will have chance to speak more and discover more about our passions and the passions inside the group and tools we use in our daily lives. So.